Hey everyone, I'm Clay, and today we're going to be talking about ISO. Now the first thing to remember is in the RED ecosystem, ISO is just a metadata adjustment. So it's not baked in, and you can always go back and fine tune it. But just because it's not affecting your raw image doesn't mean you shouldn't have to think about it. Put simply, ISO is a value representing your capture medium's sensitivity to light. One of the questions I hear a lot goes something like this. What's your camera's native ISO? Which actually isn't such a simple question to answer. Because here at RED, we're not limited to a sweet spot of ISO performance, but rather a range between around 400 and 2000 ISO. The reason for this is we treat ISO more like a lookup table. But even that isn't completely accurate because it uses floating point notation. So we coined the term FLUT. What this means is that the choice of ISO actually affects the interpretation of the perceived midpoint in the value range and not the value range itself. That seems a bit complicated. It's because it is. But the truth is, all you need to know about ISO is it functions the same way it has on every other camera you've used. If you're outside on a sunny day and you drag your ISO down, you'll see the visible light cut. If you're inside in a low light condition and drag that ISO up, you're gonna see a raise in the value of light. So the truth is that lighting and aperture are your real key players here. Another question I get all the time is what is flood and why would I adjust it? Now an easy way to think about how flood and ISO relate to each other is to think of ISO as the hour hand of a clock while flood acts as the minute hand, meaning that the ISO adjusts in large predetermined chunks such as 200, 400, et cetera. And the flut or the minute hand is adjusting in smaller increments to really dial in a look, say for Video Village. With our best in class dynamic range, ISO, flut, and other metadata adjustments, you can really set a good baseline look for your project while still preserving the flexibility to push it around in post. Meaning that if that window is just a little bit too bright, we got you. If that corner doesn't have quite enough detail, you can fix it, which is great if you're a perfectionist like me. 